Good morning, fam. <clears throat> yes, so it is still the morning and my voice is kind of like groggy. But anyways, so if you're here for the first time, welcome to Stuffy Naughty Life. Um, my vision for life has always been to live life out to the fullest, um, to dare to live. And so I'm doing it through a vlog. I'm sharing that journey with you. Um, and so if you want more details on like how that looks and stuff like that, you can check out the first video. I will link it here. Maybe, or you can check below for the in the description box for the link. So every day I set goals, um, and some days I will be having a bucket list item that I want to cross off. Goals are usually 500 diamonds, and bucket list items will be a thousand diamonds. Um, and so when I, you know, actually get the ta them done, I reward myself. And at a certain amount, which is 100k diamonds in total. Um, I will be hosting a giveaway for you guys and also getting myself something special. Most likely something that I'll invest back into this channel like equipment and cameras, etc. So welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications to stay tuned for more stuff. For today's goals. So today there's a lot going on. Um, first, I need to run to the office. I'm looking at my list, by the way. Work-related stuff that I need to get done. I, I try to stay vague about my, my job because I want to keep that on the private side. Um, so, yeah, okay. Then I actually want to get to Glossier. I was trying to go yesterday, but couldn't make it out, so hopefully today I can. Um, I need to finish up a blog post. I have some more videos to finish editing. I finished editing a bunch last night. Um, so, I technically all I need to do is edit yesterday's and today's and it should be I should be on schedule which is pretty awesome I also have to work on my YouTube schedule for my regular channel so I can start putting out more work I want to get back into the beauty game I felt like I haven't done beauty for such a long time because I've been focusing on fashion um, for like the past year and a half um, and so I want to start doing beauty and makeup tutorials again I miss it so much um, so yeah if you have any ideas or requests, let me know. I also have to post a couple of outfits to IG that I actually have in the queue. Um, so I need to get them, them out already. And that's pretty much it for our goals today. One thing I did want to mention before I carry on with my day is um, every day I want to do a question of the day. So um, you guys can ask questions, leave your questions down below that you have, and I'll be picking a question from the comment section and answering a new question every day from, an, from another subscriber. Um, and usually the answer and the question will be done at the end of the video. So if you have any questions, let me know, comment below. Um, I wanna be able to like get to know you and you know, you get to know me. Another way that we're doing that actually is if you haven't um, seen it yet in some of my other vlogs is that we're gonna, David and I, my husband and I, are gonna be hosting dinner bi-weekly. Um, and what that means is that most only for, sorry, unfortunately it's only for New York City subscribers and viewers. Um, we're gonna be taking them out to dinner, one, you know, one subscriber or a couple subscribers um, who comment below that they're interested in going to the dinner on us. Um, you can also go to my Instagram and comment there on the Dinner On Us post if you are interested. Uh, and yes, dinner is completely free. We'll be taking you out on a, a night on a town in New York City. Um, and it's a way for us to get to know you guys and to just build bridges and, you know, set of walls and um, <laughs> really just spend time getting to know people and overcoming barriers and whatnot. So I feel like it's an awesome way to just connect. Um, so I hope people take me up on it, and I hope I know it's kind of strange, and it's definitely it's out of comfort zones because you're meeting people that you've never really met before. Um, but I hope you guys take that on, and I hope you guys uh, join us. I would love to meet new people, and it's free dinner, guys. Come on, come on, free dinner in New York City. So if you recall, yesterday I had braids, and then I let them out, and now it's like all a wavy, like beachy kind of hair right now it's a little too frizzy for my taste but it's gonna have to do and also my hair color definitely changed i used this lavender shampoo that the hairstylist gave me so it's not like super purpley but it's more like this like gray purple in some areas and almost blue do you see that so i don't know what's going on with my hair um i don't hate it though it just is what it is um and here is what i'm wearing for my outfit I am just wearing these leggings from Forever 21. I love them, the match details. And this loose top um, from it's, uh, Elos. 
and then this bomber jacket that I got from D&Co that Ashby actually styled for me and I love it I've been using it a lot I just need to actually shoot in it and share with you guys because I have a cute outfit to go with it but anyways I need to get out of here because there's so much to do so see you in a bit So I'm here at work just finishing up stuff um, and I actually finished the two things I need to do today here for work. So that's a thousand diamonds. Um, also I want to remind everybody don't forget to leave your questions below for the question of the day which will start tomorrow um, as soon as I start seeing your questions come in. So I left work a lot later than I anticipated, um, but right now I'm waiting for an Uber so I can uh, hop on over to uh, Glossier finally. So I'm just like loud because I'm like by all this traffic and stuff waiting for the Uber. CA goodies. Can't wait to go ahead and try these out. Okay, so I just got home and swapped into PJs because I'm exhausted and I think I'm gonna spend the rest of the night just editing. But I thought I'd show you the Glossier products that I did pick up. It's cute, they gave us a nice little plastic bag. Um, some pamphlets and some stickers. Look at the stickers. Cute. Um, very Beautycon esque. And it comes in like this pink bubble wrap packaging type of thing. Um, which is really cool. I feel like it's great to carry to the beach. Um, Okay, so the first thing I got is the mintbomb.com. I also got their Priming Moisturizer Enrich because it is super thick and moisturizing and hydrating for my skin because I have super dry skin, so I thought this was amazing when I tried it on. Um, I also got the Cloud Paint in Haze, which is like their darkest, deepest, um, rosy shade, which I think will look good for my skin tone. So the last thing I got is the Haloscope, um, Haloscope, um, in Moonstone, which is a dew effect highlighter. And it looks super natural, looks super dewy, and very like glistening moonlighty. Um, I don't think I have a highlighter like this, so I thought it was really cool and I picked it up. Um, everything else, I wasn't too much of a fan of the lip, like the colored lip products, because it's not very vibrant. And I have like dark lips, so I feel like I need something that's opaque in order for it to show up on me and look good on my lips. Now as for the face products they have, um, I don't know if it's the tinted moisturizer or if it's their foundation, but it was just so thin and very um, light that there wasn't much of a coverage. I feel like it's good for, you know, light wear if you're gonna go to the beach or anything, something like that. But honestly, at that point, I would just get really good, like, creams or sun protecting creams for my face because I feel like I didn't see much of a difference to warrant me um, purchasing that product. Um, the concealer did work pretty well, but I feel like it wasn't the color I needed it to be, um, so it's okay. The one thing I did like that I did not get was their their face mist. I thought it was amazing, and I feel like it left my skin feeling like dewy and glowy looking, because um, I wasn't sure about it, but I think now that I came home and like I've seen how my face feels after wearing it, I think it's something that I definitely will get. <sighs> Look what it is! It's going to help with the vlogging. It is my first official Gorilla Pod. Um, let's test this out. Better. Now I feel like I can hold out the camera without it having to be so close to my face all the time. Even though I do have a wide angle lens. Um, 
So I can, which also gives me room to play with new lenses as well. Um, but I don't know if I want to buy new lenses as yet because I feel like I might end up buying a new camera for the vlog. So we shall see. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick recap right now because I feel like I'm going to turn off the camera and just focus on editing and end out my night. Um, but just to do the recap, I pretty much did everything I wanted to set out to do, minus the blog post um, and the editing, which I wanna to get to right now, the editing right after I get off the camera. Um, I also did post IG, which I didn't mention before, but you should probably see that on Instagram. Um, so I got to do a lot today, which is exciting, and I hit a bunch of like practical, like, you know, daily goals, tasks. But um, yeah, I'm excited for this, because I feel like I'm getting into the habit of it now, and it's gonna get better as we go along. And then I could finally start tackling bucket list items, which we have not done on this channel yet. Um, so I am excited for that, really. Okay, well, I'm signing off now. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure you press the notification so you know when I upload my next video. Love you guys very, very, very much. Dream big and dare to live. Bye. Mwah.